Hi, welcome to p5.js tutorial of how to embed image or images on the browser. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you to bracket and uh, we put together one of these and um, show you different method of how to put together different types of images. So let's do that now guys. Hi and welcome back to p5.js tutorial uh, before we start putting together the the codes you must first of all add the images that you intend to use the image or the images like the one I intend to use is right here I'm going to be using either any of these those are the images that I intend to use and they are all from my previous tutorial most importantly you must make sure you get the name right and the p5 itself does uh, does accept uh, png jpeg and a file there's another one i think svg so those are the images i intend to use you make sure you save the image in your folder where you have your cache so that uh, the system gains easy access to the images so i'm going to minimize that and let's start by declaring maybe one or two variables so I'm going to call that image let's say image one so we can have another one let's say we have variable number two image two now the next thing we want to do is we will have to preload the following let's say function preload that's a function on its own to load images on the system make sure you enter your curly braces so the first image is image number one for image number one we use the load function load image lowercase l uppercase r you can see that okay load image and the image i want you to load we then need the names of the images I intend to use. So let me come straight to the folder where I have my images. So let's say I want this. You can right click and rename. Let's copy the, the name of the image correctly. And as you can see, it's a PNG. That's it right there. Drop it down. And right here, open up bracket. Dot PNG that's the image I intend to use we will just demonstrate by using one single image let me show you the demonstration with one single image then the next thing is let's say setup enter coil braces I'm going to create a canvas create canvas and this very canvas is going to be the argument will be 1350 by 600 that is the screen resolution I intend to use now the draw function the draw function is to draw the image so let's say draw color braces there and the image I intend to draw let's say image and that is going to be my variable image one this very one that is the one I'm using right now now the next thing i want to do is to add the coordinate where this image is meant to be so let's say the image starts from let's go for maybe zero zero that is the coordinate for my image so all i need to do now is go to file save and let's run the program there we go guys just call the image that i added onto the draw function so let's close that supposing I intend to add more and let's see what's going to happen so I'm going to change this coordinate to 100 by 100 go to file save and run and if you look here you can see the first image that was called and the second image okay if that's not that clear let me come straight to my folder where I have my images I'm just going to copy the name of any of these image copy that and minimize that come here let's change the second image let's come here 
enter that in there I'm gonna copy all of this paste that in there close this and this will be variable number two and I'll enter variable number two here so just to prove to you that yes I did call two images there so file save and let's run and there we go you see the first image and the second image if I close it now I can just copy both images look look here if I copy this two and just change the coordinate around come right down there change this to 200 by 200 and this becomes 300 by 300 yep that's fine let's go for 400 and this is 500 by 5 there so go to file save and run there we go guys see how it all looks now now one other thing before I call it the end of this program is you see we have in here we have only have three arguments but you can have more than three so the first thing I want to do is let's comment this out that is how you comment okay that's for multiple comments and I will add two more arguments and those two arguments are just to determine or to resize the very image that I'm using let's say that's going to be 280 by 280 so the first argument is the variable calling the image the second argument is the coordinate x axis and the y axis and here that's meant to be the width and the height so let's save that and run it again look at that guys that's what happened with the two other arguments that I entered supposing I change that to let's go for 1000 and this one happens to be 400 so run it again and there we go okay so now you know how to embed image or images onto p5 or using p5.js and modify the images as well so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoy and bye for now